In this tutorial we're going to carry on in Substance Painter um, and I'm going to look at how to export the textures out for use. Um, so I'm taking this out to Unreal and it will make a difference what you take the, the textures out to. Uh, you'll have to think about that in the export process. So, I can just go to File, Export Textures or Control shift e and um, from here we can change our configuration so we can choose the most appropriate configuration so we could go into V-Ray, uh, Unreal Engine 4 Pact, um, Unity, various different things. I'm going to go into this Unreal Engine 4 Pact. Okay. Um, if I was just to export that it would come up with some errors. Um, so let me show you why. I'm just going to go into the configuration. So within the configuration, I mean from here we can actually create a brand new preset um, start with nothing and start adding things into that. Um, so one of the things I've mentioned before anchor points, you had to actually bake out a separate normal map. Um, so we could actually create a new uh, normal, a new RGB channel. A normal map requires RGB information. And I could take out a normal um, and drag that in, put that into the RGB channel <coughs> excuse me and then we can get our normal information from that uh, so if we were baking that let's see if we can give this a new name call this something like normal bake um, I'm just going to give this a name, let's call this T underscore, uh, we can have, let's have texture set. Uh, so here we have um, the the names, the expressions that can be used. So if we click on that, we can use the project name, we can use the mesh name or the texture set name. So I'm going to use a texture set name, then underscore. I don't know if we can actually use the thing. Let's use underscore normal. Okay. And uh, let's go into export. Let's just choose a folder, select the folder, and then I can just export out. I'll make sure I'm using my config. So down at the bottom we've got this one called normal bake. Uh, I could just export that. Just open that folder up. And there I should have this T Lambert normal, uh, which should be a normal map. I um, don't know if this will open. Okay, so that's baked out the normals on that. Delete that for now. So that's sort of the principle of it. Um, so if I go back to export textures, this time I'm going to set up a config and I'm going to go into my Unreal Engine 4 pack. I'm just going to the configuration for this. Uh, I'm going to show the configuration for this by clicking here as well. So this is the Unreal Engine 4 um, pack configuration. And what this is doing, uh, first of all, uh, we have, um, and I've, I've renamed these by the way, um, by default it uses the mesh name and then the the texture set name so I've just changed this to use the texture set again just by sort of deleting and then re-bringing in the texture set on there and then we've got base color underscore occlusion rough, roughness metallic underscore normal um, so the RGB this is actually an RGBA so it has an alpha channel on that we'll talk about that in a second um, that's taking out the color information and then if we wanted to we could add an opacity or an alpha map into the alpha channel. Uh, second file is taking out three different things so because these the occlusion, the roughness and the metallic are all grayscale information we don't need a full RGB individually for those so we can pack the occlusion into the red channel we can pack the um, roughness into the green and we can pack the metallic into the blue and again we could use an RGBA there if we had another channel to take out then the normal map is um, 
an RGB as I've just done and this is taking our normal DirectX from there. We also have in this an emissive channel as well and uh, if you were to bake this you'd get errors because we're not currently using an emissive channel in that. Uh, so you can either ignore all those errors or we can get rid of this as well. Um, so let's just leave it right now for this. Um, and I'll show you the error and then I'll show you how to get rid of that. So here we have our base color, um, we have the texture set. And just to refer to the texture set, currently this is called Lambert 1. So if we were saving this out, we'd have Lambert T underscore Lambert 1 underscore base color, etc. etc. Uh, let me just cancel this for a second, just to make this a bit easier to work with. I'm going to just delete something from my other page. Um, I'm going to change the name of the Lambert material so we can do this here in our texture set list. So I can click on the texture set, right click, and we can edit name. So I could call this something like treasure chest. Okay. And now when I go into the export textures, that's the name we're going to use. Okay. So as I said before, uh, we're going to use our Unreal 4 pack. This is a configuration, configuration we're currently using. We've got the file um, location. We can just click on export. And it's pretty quick to do this. So we've got export warning, uh, finished with some warning C logs. So down here we've got this log, um, the map can't be generated for the texture set treasure set and this is the emissive but if I open the folder what we have in this is we have treasure chest base color treasure chest normal and the occlusion roughness metallic okay so that error doesn't cause any problems if you did want to get rid of it what we can do is go back to the textures go back to my configuration and go back to the unreal 4 so this emissive here we could just click on this cross and we could get rid of that completely okay uh, if you wanted to, we could also, um, it's already cleared, if we were trying to get any alpha information in this, we could get rid of that as well. Um, so I've just got rid of that beforehand. Um, so we should have no other errors coming up through that. Okay, so that will remain. So if I export Unity 4 packed, uh, it's going to give me a thing. Okay. So you see this time we have no errors showing or no warning logs showing. And that's just because I took that emissive channel off. Okay. So that's all there is to it in terms of um, exporting textures just for now. Um, and that's the end of the tutorial.